I'm Ken Cara and thanks for watching. Summertime in America means fire pits and cornhole boards. At almost every party you'll attend this summer, you'll see beanbags flying like fireworks. If you're in Northeast Pennsylvania, chances are some of those people throwing the beanbags are part of the Black Diamond Cornhole League and maybe you should be too. The Black Diamond Cornhole League may be as grassroots as it gets. So I got in the cornhole two years ago. I was at my aunt's camper and my uncle brought these two cornhole boards out. Me and my brother looked at each other like, what's this? Just started in the backyard playing with my family, honestly. Family. Yep. And then we decided, oh, we're going to start just going to some local tournaments. And we got a little obsessed with it. <laughs> and now here we are. This league got started out of a backyard. We yeah. were playing in the <laughs> summer and uh, we we decided like well, we decided we needed something to do for the winter and Black Diamond was was born in the backyard and it turned into a league and we started doing fundraisers then we started doing tournaments and it just kept it just keeps going in the summer of 2022 dry conditions were limiting how much golf John Williams Dante Mariano and John Rosofsky could play so they turned to a new sport cornhole not long after that, they started hosting cornhole events at Tap at Humboldt in Hazel Township. We went to some smaller events, we saw how things were ran, and we, we all agreed like, hey, we would have done this differently. Maybe we don't know about it yet, but we looked into it. We did our homework, did our research, and the most important part is like we listened to our players and our feedback of what's going on. Um, next thing is just you know continuing to grow the sport around us, whether it's youth, older individuals, or just the community. We're really big into fundraising and doing things to support those around us. We have some fundraisers coming up for local dance studios, little leagues, you know, you name it, we're all, we're all about it. Black Diamond started with 10 boards. Now they have 32 for their weekly league night on Mondays. They've grown a lot in a short amount of time and a lot of work goes into that success. I think there's always times you're overwhelmed, right? Yeah, like, get like, yeah. We get here today at four o'clock, all of us worked all day, right? So we get here, we set up and I get out of here at 11.30 and I'm back at work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So yeah, it's overwhelming, but the best part is, is when we text each other Tuesday morning, we're like, yeah, last night was awesome. <laughs> At a Black Diamond Cornhole event, if you closed your eyes and tossed a bean bag, chances are you'd hit a former local athlete. Or one of the boards, I guess, or the floor. But I'm trying to make a point about former local athletes here. So when I was little, I played Little League in Babe Ruth, um, and then I was a big bowler. So I bowled for Hazel during high school, we won a state championship my senior year in high school. What year was that? 2008. So went to college for bowling and I kind of got burnt out of it. Um, you know, you take that next step and sometimes it's not what you anticipate. Um, so then golf kind of took over after that and then rolled into this. I mean, we still all play golf together, but this has kind of become our, our second coming in some aspects. The sport of cornhole has become the second act for many former high school and college athletes who are still hungry for competition. This is Danny Fogarty, one of the league's owners, who is a standout basketball player at the Hazleton Area High School and at Penn State Hazleton. So a basketball memory that still sticks out in my mind is going to be when we played up at uh, Penn State Scranton Worthington. We were there and uh, Coach Rush and Coach Sinavich called the play Circle. i never forget this play. Circle was at, um, I was at the top where half court is and the guy would set the screen at the three point line. I'd grab the ball, rip around him and I had the best dunk of my life there. Danny often teams up with his brother John in Cornhole and guess what? John was also a successful basketball player for the Hazleton area Cougars. Then there's Corinne Stricker, a former three sport athlete at Pine Grove area high school. She won a basketball district championship and went on to play the sport at Elizabethtown College. I asked her if there's a correlation between basketball and cornhole. Absolutely. Um, there's a lot of times where if I hit an airmail, I'm like, oh, it's just like shooting a three pointer. Um, I think there's a lot of, you know, hand eye coordination. I think there's a lot of depth perception. Um, it is odd how certain sports do translate yeah. over into cornhole. Stricker has played in some big time cornhole tournaments, including a pro qualifier in 2023. She came in third place, just missing winning the tournament and turning pro. Does that motivate you now to say I'm getting back there? I'm going to keep doing it. I, 
I, I think a little bit. Um, it makes me see that I have the potential to go that far, but um, it's very tough. I mean, those pro players are, are, are pretty tough. Were you disappointed? Were you proud after that third place finish? A little bit of both? Oh, I was super proud. I did not even expect to, um, I expected to get to like the final group that would play, um, the, the single elimination tournament part of it, but I did not expect to get to the point that I did. Stricker bumps up against pros every now and then when she represents Black Diamond Cornhole in tournaments with her partner, Dan Griggis. Rhode Island was our first big one. I think there were 652 teams. We qualified throughout the rounders, five games of round robin. We, our six games, we went five and one. Ended up, I think, 15 seed out of 651 players amongst the pros. We went into playoffs and we got our we got our butts whooped because we we were in with all pros and it was it was fun. It's an experience because every time you play one of them, you learn off them. And like, I was very nervous the first time I played a pro, but now it's like the more you played them, they're just like you. Even you coming out to play, you and I playing, yeah. they're they're human beings. You need help ask them questions, they'll tell you anything you want to know and they'll tell you what you're doing wrong, which is great about the sport. Everybody's willing to help you. Griggis has only been playing cornhole for two years, but he's already had a lot of success and he enjoys sharing his talent and wisdom on Monday nights with Black Diamond members. What the teams were throwing tonight, I, I talk to them after I play them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> I, like in the middle, yeah. No, when they're done, I will help them. While I'm playing them, I won't because that's... I won't give them the edge, but yeah, afterwards, I help them now, the lower brackets, if they, when I'm watching them play, if they need a hand, or if I see some of the people I know having a hard time, I stop them and say something to them, and just tell them to relax if they need to relax, or if I see them doing something wrong, I, let, I, I talk to them, try to help them out a little bit, they, they got it, they want to grow and they want to get better, so that's what we're all here for, to help. This league is set up for everybody, from the ultra-competitive former athletes to those just looking to have a good time. You're going to have your players, like I said, no matter where event you're going to go, but the cool part is, is like we have two ladies that play with us from Weatherly. They're probably in their late 60s, early 70s, and they're probably the most fun group that comes here. They come out, they have some drinks, they have fun, they dance when we have music going on. Like That's what brings it all together. Is like They're here to have a good time, and that shows you that you can do this at any age, anywhere. If you're interested in joining the league, or if you're a nonprofit organization looking for a unique fundraiser, you can find Black Diamond Cornhole on Facebook. I'm extremely proud of this organization. Very proud of everything we have done and accomplished in such a little time. Proud of the hometown atmosphere, proud of the people that come out. It's truly remarkable what Black Diamond Cornhole has done for Hazelden PA. 